Everybody put your masks on. Everybody get your masks on. Hello. Hang on one second. Everybody get your masks on. Hi. Hi, Noor. Hi, everybody. No, actually, I'm not. Can you? It looks like I've been crying, right? And it looks like I've been tired. <laughs> yes. I had, I don't know. I had a few, I had, I don't do more than three readings a day. And I try not to work every day, but I've gotten pretty busy. And I resonate to energy. And my last client today was going through something. So I'm still carrying it a little. Because maybe we should talk about that. About carrying, well, I do it for work. And I know how to disconnect. But I usually have more of a lag between my live show on Mondays and my clients. So I'm just feeling the emotions of the world, I guess. But I love it. That's why I come here. I come here for, for me as much as you and maybe more for me because I can feel the love in here. It's palpable on Mondays at 7. And so I'm glad that you're all joining me because you lift me up. And crying is like a great way to um, to to deal with everything that's going on in the world it's like so topsy-turvy i mean everybody's gone down these 40 percent of our country has gone down this rabbit hole conspiracy theories which have absolutely no basis in actuality like zero but it's because we have a somebody at the helm yeah we can't hold on to other people's energy and there's somebody at the helm who's not really at the helm who's a conspiracy theorist so it's just there's no pizza gate there's no there's no none of that stuff just look at it just let's believe in science let's just wear the mask please let's be kind to one another let's not create hostility let's just be loving that's what i'm here and just to be loving and so yeah i feel like crying and i can be myself when i'm with you guys that's what i do i'm gonna try to be funny too but the funny's just gonna come out because that's just me <laughs> Somebody tell me about this water. Essentia. Essentia. Mm. It's really good. I've been hydrating a lot, so when I feel, you know. And then I have a kid who's a therapist, my son, and he really helped me. He really helps me a lot because yesterday I was wandering all over the place in energy and in thought. And it's just like, no, you know what? The, you know what the key is? You know, this is the answer you got to get your body moving. You have to get out there in nature and get your body moving. And when I did that, that's when I see hummingbirds and butterflies. Let me take some questions because I love you guys so much. And so I know I look a little tired today. I tried I, I tried to look at those, those D, DIY with the concealer things. And anyway, I don't conceal anything from you. And I don't think we should conceal anything. And that's it. Let me start taking questions. Hi, Ruth Gail Collins. I wish I could see these. I still don't know how to record this while I'm um, here. So, um, why do you feel is the cause of people are so against wearing masks? Well, I think it goes to these conspiracy theories that are saying this is a conspiracy, that it's not real, and it's not real until you're on a ventilator. But listen, we were. We never wore seatbelts a million years ago, and we got used to putting on a seatbelt. There's no difference between that and a mask. It's a cautionary thing. But when you have people saying that it's a conspiracy, and when you have so many ways to get the news, most of which is is designed to put us in fear. So that's that's how you. Have, oh, maybe that's a way to look at the news: is what makes me what makes me fearful and what can I embrace as the truth and that goes back to things I've talked about here before which is the truth this is where the real actual news is um oh gosh hi Shirley my aunt has been in prison for about two years now for being a woman's right activist oh wow I'm so sorry let's all let's all join in no 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 knower is that how I say your name no or did you ever come to me for a reading because your name seems familiar you can let me know but I won't get to see it after you'll have to you'll have to DM me or something um okay Nora we're sending love she's we needed the badass okay let's let's all focus on Noor's aunt getting out of prison for being a woman's right activist what the fuck okay now you're getting me in my tough mode now I'm in my tough mom mode Okay, there's a man involved. This is the man. The man is keeping her down. Oh my God, wait one second. 
look, the man. This is like, this is really hard because th this is what I'm looking at with the Hierophant is laws, laws, laws. Like we don't do this, but we want her home. She is, she has that male energy. Oh, I get a yes, look. So does she have a case coming up or something like soon? I get, yes, she's gonna be reunited with the family. But it's gonna take some kind of, I don't wanna say miracle, I think it's like chess game. Like think three steps ahead and there's gonna, you're gonna get an opportunity to get her out. And maybe something's coming up next month in August because I just said that because I got the number eight around it. Um, let's send her a big, everybody here, let's send knowers and like a big animal, like a, a spirit animal, like a lion, like was in, that was in that card, like a lion to protect her so that as long as she's in prison, she'll be protected because I think that she might be helping organize women from inside where she is if they don't have her in isolation. Um, we need her, we need that energy. Everybody, let's, let's pray. What's your aunt's first name? Give it to me, Noah here. So everybody's gonna say, the man, yes, the man is a political higher up, but something's going to happen. We're all, we're putting our light energy together. Give us her first name, Noah, and we will, we're all gonna hold it up there. I'm gonna lift it up. We're gonna lift her up. We're gonna lift her up. Okay, and I'm gonna go to questions. As soon as somebody just keep, Nasima, Nasima. Oh my God, I just start crying. What a beautiful soul. Is she like in her 30s or something? Okay, we're sending Nasima lots of love and to get out of there. Okay, now I'm gonna go to questions, but we're focusing on Nasima. Okay. Lila, hi Lila. Um, okay, Lila, Lila, you can't ask me a question every week. You have to book a damn read. Oh, use the code CALM, C-A-L-M, for 11% off of any reading. Okay. Can I pull a card for you about love, Suriname? Surrender, surrender. That's what I. That's what I think. I. I really think. I really think that you need to relax. And Suriname, when I get in your head, you want things a certain way because I get stuck. And so it's not gonna be the way you want it. Love is not gonna be the way you want it. It's gonna be the way it is. And love will find you. Love will find you. Love will find all of you. Love finds all of us. It really does when we're open and receptive. And this is a receptive day because it's an emotional day. I don't know what's going on with the retrogrades or the planets or anything, but we, we have to be receptive to one another and send out the right signals. That's a message for you. Okay, I'm gonna to go to questions here now. Um, oh my God, Suriname, you took up my, see, I told you, you're overthinking, you took up my thing here. You took up, you took up all those questions, just because you write it six times. See the urgency, the urgency, the urgency, I want it. You can't be like that with love. Ooh, when I went like this, ooh, do you ever get in a fight with another girl over a guy or something? It's like, I can't fight. No, we only want the lion for Nasima. Okay. Is there a shift coming in my career? Reme Benet. Yes, in October. That's all I have to say about that. There's a shift coming and it's gonna be something that you like. And it's not a night shift. It's not the night shift or the day shift. It's a shift. Okay, let me go to questions. I know Lila, I told you that I can't read for you because I know you, so. Um, I'm looking for people that I have never answered questions before for. And so here we go. Hello, Shirley. Will my son's anxiety improve and will he do well in the future? Gosh, I just started going like this with my, with my hair when I connect to your son's energy. Does he pull on his hair or something like that? You know, I think that's called something like, he picks his energies like this. So if you're asking me, will it improve? Let me take a look at that. This is his anxiety. That's my anxiety card. That's the falling tower. I just think, oh, maybe he came in with anxiety. Maybe he was born with it. At first I was gonna blame you, honestly, because it's usually the mom's fault. No kidding, but that's what my kids tell me. Everything is my fault, right? <laughs> Even my stepkids. Everything is your fault. No, this is something he was born with. This is a nature, not a nurture. Let's take a look at that. Hmm, I'm not a therapist, but this is the kind of stuff you gotta take to the therapist. 
Oh my God. Then he's got fear. Will he do well in the future? So he's got, he's got some obstacles to overcome, but he's super sensitive and super talented. And this is the moon card. The moon card says, it, for me, it could take a while for him, honestly, but what am I? This is entertainment. This is not therapy. I know you all come in for that, and I guess I'm a clarity coach or something like that. I give you clarity on things. My advice is give him, like, like I don't know if he's artistic or not, but give him a, a canvas to draw on, to write on. Have him express himself. So say, like, this piece of white paper represents new thoughts, right? New everything new page, new cleanliness, have him write, have him write his thoughts, have him, and so he can get better, and I think that it can take time, but he has to express himself in whatever form that is, and you mustn't get in the way of that, Maria Magdalena Valenzuela. Maria Magdalena Valenzuela. That caused me anxiety, just saying your name. Oh, mm. that's a long ass name. Like, he didn't have to write that like in kindergarten, did he? Like, all those names, yeah. No offense, that's a big name. That's a big, he's terrific, he's funny. He could express himself through laughter because he's making me feel better. Actually, his energy is making me feel lighter. So maybe he's carrying the load of a lot of people. Maybe he's an absorber. And so you have to find a way for him to let go of that energy. And that's what I would start with. Like get it, get, take that energy and go like that and get it out of his body. You see what I'm saying? I know you got it. I know that you get me. Oh, one of my favorite people, Ruth Gail Collins. Oh my God, I've got to put this up here. Yeah. Oh, oh. Anything your guides want you to know. <laughs> Look what I just did, Ruth. Ruth Gail Collins. That's what your guides want you to know. Get up. Stand up for yourself. <laughs> That's what they want you to know. Stand up for yourself. Okay. There's, there's one of your guides, that's the Hierophant. He came up a lot for me today with my clients too. Teaching, they want you to, what lessons are you learning? You're learning a lot of life lessons in this. And so what they're saying is we're facing some anxiety and the anxiety happens when we have a structure. So if you have a structure that's in place and then what's going on in the world now is so crazy, it can fuck you up. Look what it's done to me. And I'm a person with no structure. Like I have zero structure. I don't even wear bras that have underwire. I don't even wear bras. <sighs> mm. I meant to say shelf, shelf bras, but um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, I blurt everything out here because you guys are crazy. You get me going. So they want you to know, play it nice and loose. See, nice and loose. Easy does it. That's it. That's, that's your message. I love you, Chrissy Portalkowski. I love you, Ruth. I love everybody in here so much because I don't feel like crying anymore. And it started when I was talking to Valenzuela, whatever the name was over there, Maria Valenzuela, that, that name, because her son is gifted with, he's, he's gifted and he's feeling everything in the world and he came in with that. So nurture that nature. Oh my God, that was so good. Okay, wait, one second. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take another. I'm looking for questions from people I have never, ever looked uh, for before. Okay, let's see. Will my friendship work out with P? Will my friendship work out with P? Monica, I love you so much. Monica Halligan does eyebrows for Senna. And I don't know what she's doing, how she's doing this now. But I thought about you because I had to do my eyebrows and I want to see you. And someday we will. I don't know how long, much longer we're going to be in this. Honestly, honestly, batten down the hatches. I want to tell you, don't, ho don't start hoarding at the stores and stuff, but have stuff because I feel like September, October, November could be rocky. I just feel like that because it's like before elections and shit like that. And he's building a wall around the White House. Like that's where he's building the wall. So just all let's fasten our seatbelts and vote. And no conspiracy theories. And no conspiracy theorist president. And I don't care who hears me out there. If you're a conspiracy theorist, don't listen to me because I'm a straight shooter, baby. Okay. Will my friendship work out with P? Okay. P. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's judgment. Are you the one feeling judged? Are you a little hard on yourself? 
Are you a little hard on yourself? Is it like Paula or something? Is this a girl, the P? Because it feels like it's a girl. Um, oh, I don't know. I get these, I get, you asked me to, if your friendship's gonna work out. Yes, there's the star card, but you're off to a bumpy start. What I would do is like, I would, I would try to see this person, of course, wearing a mask, wearing a mask. Did you have some fights in the past or something? Just wear a mask and, and hunker down together. I like the word hunker for you. Is he or she a hunk? Can a girl be a hunk? Hmm. Can a girl be a hunk? I'm a chunk, but can a girl be a hunk? Hmm. I don't see why not. Then she'd be a hunka, right? Would you be a hunka or a hunk? Honk. Honk. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm honking myself. My mask, thank you. My mask is from Johnny Waz. And they're, and oh, by the way, Johnny Waz, if you go to their website, I think they're doing like five masks for $25. They're amazingly made. Johnny, you know, that company that does the incredible WAS, Johnny WAS. Okay. Um, okay, let's go to another question here. And I'm looking for somebody I've never, ever, ever answered. Tetalisha. Tetalisha, any messages for me from my spirit guides? I love your energy. See, I see that word that I love you, and then you're, you, that's how you see me, you love me. That's my better side, isn't it? But I look so tired today because I work hard, even though it's like three hours. I work three hours today, and that's a lot of energy for me because it's so focused, and then I come here, and I just want to hang out with you guys. Okay, let's get a message for Tetalisha from your spirit guides. Oh, look, they want you to go on an inner journey. Your spirit guides say go inside. September is going to be a very important month for you. That's a hunker down month. Hunker down with a hunk. I want to hunker with a hunk. I want to have a hunk of burning love with a hunk. And I'm going to hunker in the hunker games. Oh, I'm so clever. The hunker games. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We've got, I've got to tweet something about that. I'm gonna have a hunk for the hunker games because I gotta hunker down. So that's your that's what your spirit guides say. Go within, go within, go within. <gasps> this is what they said. Go within and you'll never be without. Oh my god, somebody write that down and send that to me. I'm so gonna tweet that right after. And if anybody also wants that challenge, you know, that, that I put up the black and white photo for and you feel neglected or left out or something, DM me and I'll nominate you for that. So yeah, I don't want anybody, this is an inclusive group, okay? It's inclusive. It's a little bit too late for me to get my boobs up. I like this anymore, I'm too old. I don't know why, I, I, I don't know why I'm talking about my boobs today. I don't know why there must be a there must be a reason for that okay let's see I forgot what I just said so somebody send this to me um, okay oh that's my time okay I'm gonna take one more question um, oh um, oh 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 Brian P thank you for the read a couple of weeks ago you're welcome Brian you're amazing Brian's an actor can I say that you're an actor um, question is it time for me to switch out my car I can't even see you you wrote too much um, oh is it oh I see it says is it time for me to switch out my car PS you are the shit <laughs> I'm the shit if any of my kids are watching I just got called the shit by by a very wonderful actor just said that so is it time for you to switch your car out Okay, and this is it, and then I'll be back next Monday. But let's see, is it time for Brianna to switch his car out? The moon. I would wait a little bit. I would wait a little bit. Except interest rates are like zero, aren't they, for like 60 months? But I would just wait a little bit. Just like if, if your car is just running on, you know, but where are you going? But, you know, that's up to you and your budget. But you like a specific car. That's what I'm hearing. And so you have to be very careful because... That's what I think. I don't actually, I'm getting like, it's not just the right time. Um, okay. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Oh, that sounded a little bit like Pee Wee Herman. So like, like conky. Oh, conky and hunky. I'm thinking of all these like, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for lifting my spirits. And I hope I lifted your spirits when we lifted the, when we brought the spirit, oh, 
that's another one. Look, you guys are making me creative. Lift your spirits. I lifted the spirits. There's spirits lifting me right now. And it takes a lot of spirits to lift this body. But, oh, yeah, we're being lifted right now. I will be back here next Monday at 7 p.m. And see how emotions can turn? Because I sat down and I was like so, I was so sad. And then now I'm so ha happy. Um, okay, you'll see this on YouTube. I'm going to post it there. If you want to book a reading with me, go to calmthefunkdown.com or shirleylipper.com or psychicshirley.com or whatever and use the code CALM for 11% off a reading. Thank you so much and have a wonderful night. Bye. And a wonderful week.